Anyway, hello everyone and welcome to, I believe this is episode 43 of Let's Play Destiny here. PlayStation 3 version of the game. Um, as always, I'm your host, Doomdog, and with me is Dalton. Say hello. Hello. And, uh, I am sorry about the long gap between episodes. That is entirely on me. Um, I, this year sucked ass for me. There's been a lot of family stuff going on behind the scenes that I don't really want to get into. But this year has been awful and it's been depressing. And between depression and anxiety and stuff like that, my will and my drive to do anything for my YouTube channel at all just largely hasn't been there. I've been putting off doing the Jack and Daxter video. We haven't recorded this in over a month. Let's get the invite. Oh, shit, I missed it. Hang on. I think I, I, think I can join in-game. In the menu system thing. Okay, here, here we go. Invite to fire team. Let me send another one. But, um... Um, there we go. My will, my drive to do anything just hasn't been there, so all I've really been doing is streaming. Hmm. At least you're doing something. Level 28 story. What is this over here? Level 25 story. Let's do that. Yeah. Players do not have access to... What? Oh, okay. <laughs> Why don't we have access Why? to it? Okay, let's, let's do the other one then. Jesus. And that is a Taken King mission, is it not? It's weird. But more recently, I have started... Uh, Andy started talking to me again. So I, I really fucking missed him. He's one of my best friends. Um, so I've been in a better mood, and I've been working on my Jack of Daxter video. I got the script... I, I've... Sorted through all the gameplay, took a bunch of notes, used the notes to write a script, revised the script, and recorded it. I've done some editing on the audio, but I'm not done editing the audio yet. So I've still got some work to do with regards to that, but I wanted to pause for that to get more episodes of Let's Play Destiny up, but it won't be too long after the last episode of Let's Play Destiny goes up that you will get the Jack of Daxter video, finally. Oh, cutscenes. Oh, that's a cool image. Mm-hmm. Think of the middle of the debris field in Saturn. When you're through, it'll never fire again. Just don't forget to plant the transmat links so the Guardians can land. Not everybody's got stealth tech and a ship that smells like hive. Good luck, Guardian. Activating stealth drive. I'm picking up fluctuations in the power conduit. Relax. I don't remember what's going on in the story. It's been too long. Just Saturn's radio yeah. storms running interference. And even if we were following the story, it would, st it would still be confusing anyway. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck just happened, but that looked bad. What happened? <laughs> Everything alright? Why wouldn't 
we be all right? We're just stuck here with no ship and no transmat zone. Great. Told you my stealth drive would work. Yeah, t totally work, dude. Yep, totally. After we finish this, I am going to do a review with the PlayStation 3 version. At some point, if we want to, we could probably get the final DLC and... Alright, I'd like to tell you the strength of the city is behind you, but as long as that dreadnought's still firing... Do, do that on the PlayStation 4. Head inside, see if you can find whatever's powering yeah. that weapon. We should be able to just transfer our games to that and pick up there, I think. I hope so. And that would suck having to start all over again. Oh god, yeah, that would that would be <laughs> ass. I would be like, fuck it, we're not doing all that again. <laughs> you know what? Got, got that right. We, we beat enough of it. <laughs> Same thing we saw right before Phobos fell apart. Might be some kind of probe. Expect trouble. Okay, are we supposed to go over this way or down that hallway? There was this little ball of light that went through this hallway thing, so I guess we gotta go that way. But I always hate like when there's a big open area and then... <laughs> I yeah. mean, like, I, I always want to explore like every nook and cranny of, a, of like an environment. Yeah, in so do I, dude. Like... Like... The bridge across just vanished. Give me a second. I'll check with Eris. Yeah, she says it's probably just a Oh, it's one of, oh god, it's one of these things. That is, so just don't, don't trust anything. That's, that's comforting. Oh god. Oh, it's not this one, it's the other one. Oh, is it, I think it disappears behind us. Do I have to go fast or something? Oh, never mind. I don't know. I, I thought it was one of those things where, like, it slowly starts to crumble or something. Yeah, there we go, it wasn't Okay, bad. there. I made it across. Look okay, how we have enemies nearby. Let's go kick their ass. So what were you doing in Pittsburgh? Was just going there to go on vacation, see games or something? Yeah, we just... Yeah, because we wanted to go see as many ballparks around the country as we could, and never been to Pittsburgh, so that was a good chance to go there, see a couple Pirates games on the weekend. Went to the Andy Warhol Museum, and like, just like hung out for the weekend. They have they have a gorgeous stadium. They really do. Definitely has one of the best backdrops, I would say. Yeah, it's got the entire, like, entire city. You got like the river right there. Yeah, the bridges. Yeah. And the Pirates won both games, which is pretty cool. Because it was the Philly, so there was I would say like half of the stadium was Philly fans. It was literally half and half, and it was sold out completely. That, that was, doesn't surprise me. I mean, they're, they're close enough to each other, you know, in the same yeah. state. Anytime, yeah. the, anytime the Houston Astros come up to play against the Texas Rangers, there's always Astros fans, too. <laughs> and I, I think that's further away than Philly, and I'm not sure. I'd have to double-check. Oh, the shooting still, like, it feels really good in this game. It really does. I wonder how it is in the second one, too. Any luck with the weapon? I don't know. I haven't played the second one. This is all the de What you've seen online is all the Destiny I've played. Oh, oh no. Oh, not, not platforming. Uh. Okay, now what? <laughs> all right. Is this like Indiana Jones? Or do you have to like take a leap of faith? <laughs> yeah, because we can't go anywhere behind us either. We're fucked. Oh, there. Oh, there we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Okay. Well, I got it to appear. I <laughs> <laughs> oh, you revive things like it's floating in midair now. Oh, I get it. Okay, you gotta start all over. Have you heard of exophobia? Uh, oh uh, yeah. The name s sounds familiar. Do we just jump to that? Oh yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. 
it's an indie game that it, that I've been really excited about. It's um, it's coming. It, it it just released on Steam and consoles, and there's a fiscal version coming later that I pre-ordered and already paid off. But I gotta go this. What's over here, though? There's like a bridge up over here. That energy powers the weapon. Kate, what do oh, we do? I'll just do it. That's what I gotta do. Okay, hold on. Eris is going on about breaking the necrotic. Yeah, I think I saw something about that yeah, game before. I just, I just can't remember, remember what it looks like. Ah, it's it. It has it. like a old school DOS look to it. Limited color palette. And it, it's a. Imagine a mix of Super Metroid and Wolfenstein 3D. That's what it is. Gonna shoot this. Drain energy from the Dreadnought's weapon by breaking the channels. Okay, yeah, I think we could destroy it. And it is really, really okay, cool. I, I played the demo of it, and I'd recommend at least giving that a try. Find them. It won't stop firing until you shut them all down. It's 15 I bucks on Steam. I need to check that out. Yeah, I would, re I would definitely recommend at least checking it out. I got Andy to check it out. He was really impressed with it, too. Did you see that Mad Mullet Jack game? That game looks awesome, but I also... I, I, I want to yeah, play that, and I want to play Angerfoot. Oh, that looks good, too. I, I bought that Mad Mullet Jack game. That game is so much fun. Yeah, that also has a demo, too. That's what got me the... Because I downloaded the demo, played it, and I thought, oh, wow, this is really cool. Yeah, that game looks awesome. I wonder if the time limit would drive me nuts, because it kind of does when I play... Um, uh, Dead Rising, which did you just did you see Dead Rising's getting remastered? Oh, yeah. Apparently, they're race swapping one of the psychos in it, which is unfortunate. Well, it's 2024, so yeah, you can't have <laughs> Asian fat guy. You got to have white fat guy. Oh uh, yeah, oh that guy, yeah. Yeah, Chang or something is his name. Yeah. You know who I'm talking about. Yeah. I never beat the uh, a Dead Rising one. Neither did my, my I. Like I, like I said, the, the uh, time limit just kind of drove me nuts. But it's get, the remaster most of it looks really fucking good. Yeah, I think so. I actually played the Wii version first. I forgot that there was a Shot Till You, till you yeah. Drop, right? Yeah, it's, ba it's basically like a Resident Evil 4 version of Dead Rising. Like, it has a camera, like, RE4 camera angle. It has literally the same weapons from RE4. Like, literally the same guns. And it's, it, like, only a certain number of zombies can be on screen at one time, and they just appear and disappear. Like, there's no, like, draw distance. The draw distance is so small, like, so ridiculous. Hmm. I I had completely forgot that there even was a Wii. I never played the Wii version. I mean, it's not that great. You're not missing much. There's something I wouldn't mind picking up now that I have a Wii again. Like, I had one very briefly, and it was stolen from me. So I've got I got one again this past Christmas. So that's good. I can play. <clears throat> Play some Wii games on it, and uh, GameCube as well, of course. Yeah. Play some of that Wii Sports. Yeah. I got. <laughs> I got that. Lego. Lego. Uh, 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 which one is it? Down. Star Wars, Star Pirates. Wars, Star Wars, the complete saga. Back when it was the complete saga. Mm. 
Dude, those games are so good. Like I never, like you, you would never expect the Lego, like a Lego game to be really that it, fun, but it really is. Yeah, it's it, especially <laughs> if you play it with a friend. It's it's so yeah. much fun co-op. There's so many of them now too. Like, I played the the Star Wars ones except for the the, the new trilogy. I played Indiana Jones, the, the one Indiana Jones one. I, I want to get the Indiana Jones one at some point, and I want to get the Lego Batman. That looks fun. The Lego Batman movie was fun. I still need to play those because. Yeah, you I think that's all I played actually. Have you seen the Lego Batman movie? No. I mean, I heard it was good, though. It's it's fun. It's not something to take seriously, but it's fun. Ah, shit, I wasted that. That's amazing. Oh. What's this? Oh. Oh, this enemy showed up. What the fuck? There's a lot of good humor and laughs in it in the Lego Batman movie, and a whole lot more villains than you, than you'd expect. Like they dug deep into Batman's, uh, like Batman's villain uh, villains to uh, Rogue Gallery to uh, get more villains for it. Okay, what's our next move? We need that transmat zone up and running. There's a massive hull breach near your position. That'll be your best bet. <laughs> this is a really cool looking area. The art design's awesome. At least I like it. Yeah, it's cool. Find a place to secure a transmit transmit zone. Oh, oh, this place is familiar. Yeah, we came back around. Looks like some kind of hive. What the fuck? Where'd he come from? Acolyte? That shit sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking... I, can, I can never watch that. The, the, Disney no managed to make a Star Wars thing that got reviewed wor that got reviewed worse than the fucking holiday special. That's impressive. Not in a good way, but it's it really impressive. Is. I mean, you ever want to see a guy headbutt a lightsaber and it just... <laughs> oh, I saw it. That, that's <laughs> where, like, that should have killed you, dude. <laughs> the ball ship. Skyburner's colors. Must have deployed some Phobos. A lot of enemies. Holy shit. We'll deal with them later. Secure that transmat zone. Other oh, fighting, other okay. No, oh, the Space Marine guys are here too. Shit, I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. I gotta go this way. Oops. Here we go. 
activating transmet link. Our ship is in back. Uh oh, that's not a good sign. Oh, respawning restricted. Oh boy. You landed a guardian of the dreadnought without authorization. All right. Can I have authorization? We'll discuss it later. Guardian, take care of that tank, or the transmat zone won't matter. Oh shit! That is a big oh, boy. Okay. I should learn the weakness before I use that supercharge. God damn it. I don't know what the weakness is. I think the the wheels the wheels have Oh shit, he just blew my Oh there's a there's a what there's a weapon over here I gotta use. Or heavy ammo. Oh, yeah, uh, he blew my weapon. ass up, so be careful. He blew my ass up too. It's almost dead. Oh. Oh fuck. Okay. Somebody's shot me. Ah, oh, we were doing well too. The thing was almost dead. Damn it. I'm gonna use all my fucking heavy ammo too. Now I. That's stupid. There should be more somewhere. Bring down some ammo crates from the ship. You're going to need them. Where is it? God. Oh my god, I got killed again. Arriving. Face. Oh my god. Die, you son of a bitch. Whoa! I got supercharged. Yeah! That did it. It killed me. I died, but... I'm still dead. alive. No, oh, I'm dead. You be careful, I'm dead. I gotta hide, yeah, I gotta hide. How long do you got? Oh, okay, well, he's dead. Just briefed us on your... Eight, seven, six. No matter the method, is a vanguard victory. You have our thanks. Oh, it's a, oh, we'll it's over. Okay. Idea when it works. Now, excuse me, Guardian. I have to go have an uncomfortable conversation with Eris about her ship. Get home safe. <coughs>
Well, that was a fun mission. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're about to reach level... I reached level 29, you're about to reach level 28. Or 29, rather. At least we're not far behind anymore. Yeah. I wonder what caused that. Oh, I use that that cube that gives you that level. Yeah, like but, the, but what caused you to fall behind me in the first place? I, is I don't. I, I don't know. I, I I didn't get that either. I don't know if it's like the your class or whatever thing you're a part of. All right, let's go back to the tower. I don't honestly know. I wonder how much. How much we've got left to do, story-wise, for the Taken King. I I don't know how long it is. I don't think there there should be too much more. I can't remember how many uh, missions we did before this. Like yeah, in terms it's of like been, it's been over a month since we fucking played this game. But I wanted to get some episodes up before I get before I go back and finish the uh, Jack and Daxter review, which I've gotten a lot of work. It's going to be a bit shorter, as the recorded audio is about fifty-one minutes, where it's usually over an hour. I get to show off the PC port, which is PC port, unofficial PC port that is awesome. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. That is the if you own Jack and Daxter, it is the best way to play it. Like, and it's really impressive too because uh, it's called Open Goal, and the way they're going to do it is you will be able to play through one, two, and three in it, and one is just about done. Two still needs some work, but it's playable. I thought I'd see the day where that's on PC. Yeah, it's it, like I said, it's an unofficial <laughs> port, so... Yeah. But, uh, they had to, uh... Uh... Jack and Daxter was built on a custom language uh, that was specifically designed to take advantage of the PlayStation 2 hardware called, it was called Goal. And because no one outside of Naughty Dog has uh, programmed in it before uh, they kind of had to reverse engineer the whole thing in order to get it to work on PC properly so it's a really impressive undertaking that they got it working at all. Guardian, what's the latest? God oh, damn. How's it feel to have the keys to a dreadnought? I'm running off for four. Lots actually. A few flawless successes. You're welcome. We're gonna rip that beast wide open. But my wings are clipped. Go talk to Zavala. See you around. I have the location. All right, hi Zavala. 
Good work, Guardian. Oryx has bled us. It's time we bleed him, too. Cabal will have an army of thugs if they don't do anything at measure. If anyone have well have details on Oryx location, they will. We need real intelligence to get to the ticket key. If you find any news of Oryx, take it to Ikora at once. It surprises me how many people are still playing this version of the game. Like, you yeah, think you know, they would have all upgraded to the next-gen version at some point. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But we're doing it this way because, you know, free online. 